and welcome to the Dragon Age toolset um, overview. I'm going to be looking at, uh, very briefly looking at the toolset and showing you around. So the first thing that you'll notice is that it looks a lot like Neverwinter Nights 2. It has a palette window on the right side, an object inspector, and these things are similar to Neverwinter Nights 2, uh, 2 toolset if you've used that before. So the first thing that I think we should look at would be the area creation. So if you go up in a new module, you should have already made a new module by now. And you go up and to new and you go down to level. You can create a room level or a terrain level. And I'll just show you terrain real quickly and then I'll show you a room. So the default settings are fine for now. And then you can pan around by holding the middle uh, mouse wheel down. And if you look up at the top, we can um, deform the area just like in, you know, Neverwinter Nights 2, make some mountains and things like that. And then you can also um, make plateaus, flatten things out, because you want to have, it's, it's got a very similar uh, walk mesh sort of situation. So we can turn on the walk meshes here. Well, it's not really a walk mesh, but it shows you where you cannot walk and where you can walk. So if you're making this as an area, if you wanted somebody to walk up here, you would have to fix all of this to make it so that these things are connected and that there's an actual walkable path. Similar to Neverwinter Nights 2, you can also paint the terrain uh, by going up to the top and selecting this brown paintbrush and it brings up a material palette. You can select any of these and you can use them in combinations. So if you just use the default, this is just putting some dirt down. Here are some cobblestones that are put down. And you can change the, um, the opacity and the radius and enable noise and all sorts of things. You can also combine them so they um, overlap. And you can get a couple different looks out of it when you use it, when you use them in different opacities and overlap them. So now I'm going to show you how to make an interior room with the Dragon Age toolset. If you go to File, go down to Level, select Room Level, hit Next, and you're going to have a default grid. Um, it's very piecemeal when you're making these sorts of things and you really want to have your grid turned on so that things snap into place. So if you go up to the top and you click on this little magnet, you can just check to make sure that your grid options are all turned on. They should be by default. Now when you make a new area, you want to go and make a new room, and then you want to rename your room over in the object inspector. We'll call this just um, main room, and you can change other things about the room, such as, you know, the weather, the atmospheric fog, um, well, not really the weather, that would be for an exterior room, and you can also change um, the sunlight, which would be if you had windows and such. So we'll just leave that all um, at the default. If you right-click on it, you can also create a new group. This is very helpful when you have a whole bunch of different things. So you might keep all of your walls in a group, or all of your floors in a group, or all of your objects in a group, or something like that. That's, that's pretty standard. So we'll say, we'll call this group Floors, and then we'll go up to the palette window, click on Models, which is this blue cube, and then we'll type uh, Floor. And this will bring up a list of all the folders where you have different floor models. If you hit hide folders, I'll do this in a moment when I have a more specific thing to search for, but um, if you hit hide folders, it'll get rid of all the folders and it'll just show you what's actually in the folders. So it would just show you these files for all of these, so it can get pretty cluttered. If you want to look at any of them, you can just select one, drag it over, and take a look at it. So we're going to find some kind of 
normal looking floor, maybe um, a stone floor. This would be, this is a dungeon tile. Try a wood floor. This looks okay. So we've got that, we can copy it. I want to go over to the translation. Since our snaps are on, it's going to uh, mostly snap into place. Your first one may not snap into place, so you might have to redo that. You just hit Control C and Control V to copy and paste it. And we'll just make a very small room. It's just got four floors. So now we'll make a new group. Call it Walls. We'll go up to our models and we'll search for Walls. And it can also help if you use the same prefix. So we used FHI. If we look for FHI walls, see if we can find something that might look similar. You can mix and match. Um, sometimes they work, and sometimes there are some that don't look so great together. So here's a fireplace. We'll pick, let's see if we can find one with a door. We'll just spin that around. There we go. And now we should get... See if we can find just a regular stone wall. That looks fine. And yeah, sometimes you have to make sure that they go into place. I'm just copying and pasting them. And of course I'm not taking that much time on these, so, you know, we just want to have a little area. If you look at other areas that are made in the game, you can see other techniques for making these. And that will help you when you when you go to build your own. That's always a good idea for for anything that you that you do. down alt and you use the translation it'll spin you around like you're using rotation. It's sometimes when you're switching between tool sets and one tool set uses alt with translation to make a duplicate it's, it's easier it's easy to get that sort of thing confused. Okay. So yeah we do have these hanging off, but it doesn't really matter because the player will never see it. So here's our area. We can also stack walls. So if we wanted to, we have to go in and select them individually. If we wanted to make this taller, if we wanted to have like a really high ceiling, we could do that. We could have a whole bunch of really high ceilings. And then we can add a ceiling on top of this. If we built this all the way around, we could add a ceiling that was really tall. This is how they make towers and things like that in the game. So if we go and we do a group, and we call the new group ceilings, then we would add ceilings. I'm not going to go too much into it because we don't have that much time. Um, but. Let's add some furniture. I'll look for a table. 